Hi guys, in this video we will talk about the Brexit. Let's start to explain what is the Brexit. First of all, it's important to underline that the relationship between the UK and the EU since the UK joined the Economic European Community in 1973 has always been characterized by uncertainty and rethinking. The growing discontent led the British government to hold a referendum to see if the citizens were really willing to leave the EU. So, on the 23rd of June in 2016, all the citizens of the United Kingdom went to vote in a referendum. The question was simple, do you want to leave the EU or do you want to remain in the EU? The majority of the voters, 51%, choose to leave. The electoral struggle was thawed and still splits the country in half between those in favor and against. According to the fifth article of the Treaty on the European Union, in fact, any member state may decide to withdraw from the Union in accordance with his own constitutional requirements, and the Prime Minister, Theresa May, is still convinced to apply that. There will be a transition period from March 2019 to December 2020, in which the EU and the UK will try to negotiate a future relationship deal. One of the pros of Brexit, according to people who are in favour of it, is that the UK will have its identity back after leaving the EU. Another reason is that Britain can have its own financial regulations that would better suit its own economy. The third reason is that Britain wishes to be able to make its own rules and regulation about immigration. The people who voted against Brexit are afraid that leaving the EU will damage the economy from a trading point of view. About half of the UK exports are to the EU and it's the same for the imports. Another reason people didn't want the Brexit is because they don't think there is something wrong with the current immigration system. Now let's talk more in detail about what's in the deal and the main areas of discussion. Firstly, the money. Part of the deal is composed by a financial settlement. The UK shall pay to the European Union an amount of £39 billion over several years due to a contribution to the European budget. The hard Brexiters would want not to include the transition period in the deal so that the UK would pay much less. Secondly, the citizens' right. Both the UK citizens living and working in a European country and vice versa will maintain the residency and social security rights. There will be more strict controls, by the way, for those who will want to work and live abroad after the transition period, with the reintroduction of visa requirements by the UK. Moreover, the UK shall remain under the European Court of Justice jurisdiction for all the transition period. But if there will be a backstop, so if the parties won't agree upon a deal before the end of the transition period, the power of the ECJ will be replaced by an arbitration panel. The Ireland issue is also important and we are going to talk about it in the next session. It has been suggested that after the Brexit, the UK and the European Union political relations should develop in an advanced association agreement and the European Union also would give the chance to the UK to participate in some European projects. An invisible line divides the Protestant monarchy of North Ireland and the Catholic Republic of Ireland. The 2018 agreement decided that the border will be open. It's the Irish backstop. But it will remain like the only if the Parliament approves the deal, otherwise the border will be closed. Of course, this will be a problem because it's around 500 kilometers long and the customs tariffs will be expensive for both countries and the risk of smuggling and of the creation of a black market will be very high. In this scenario, the two countries will be totally separated, bringing back to the surface all the disputes between neighboring countries. In fact, the Deputy Prime Minister McGuinness thinks that both should go referendum for a probable reunification. The situation in Scotland is similar. Nicola Sturgeon, current Scottish Prime Minister, says Scotland gave a clear vote about Scottish permanence in the EU. If 
he is actually thinking a new referendum in Scotland about Scottish independence in case of Brexit.